going with you tonight. But we're going to look quickly at, um, I'm, I'm going to be reading from 1 Peter, 1st chapter, 13th verse. 1 Peter, 1st chapter, 13th verse. I'm reading out of King James, but amen, whatever version you have that blesses you, amen. Wherefore, gird, gird up the loins of your mind to be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. As obedient children, not fashioning yourselves according to the form of lust in your ignorance, but as he which hath called you is holy. So be ye holy in all manner of conversation. Because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. And if ye call on the Father, who without respect of person judges according to every man's word, pass the time of your sojourning here in fear. Amen. For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversation received by the tradition from your fathers. And we'll go to 19. But the, with the precious blood of Christ as a lamb without blemish and spot, without spot. Amen. Amen. We're going to just stop there for a second. And we're going to talk about what God is calling us to do. He's calling you to be holy. Being holy or holiness is to decide that you want to be set apart. It means that you as a believer have reached a spiritual maturity in God, that you are ready to separate from people, things, and circumstances that will keep you distracted from your mandate, which is to serve God with your whole heart. Amen? Yes. So this is what we're doing is we're looking to be submitted to God, holy, yes. and obedient to God, holy. Yes. Now, Everybody's not at that level yet in their spiritual walk and, they, and in that mature place. Amen. amen. So this is this is what we grow in different levels. Amen. 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 Some people in the first grade, some people in the 12th grade, some people in college, some people getting their doctorate. So we're all growing at different levels. But there's a point we should reach. Amen. If you've been saved any length of time, you should reach a point where you are mature enough to say, I'm ready to submit my whole self to God. Yeah. I'm ready to say goodbye to all of these things that distract me from focusing on my ministry, which is what we talked about earlier, reconciliation. Yeah. Because that is the only way that we can know God in truth. Because we spent time with God. Because we laid out before God. Because we allowed God to speak to our spirit. Amen? Amen? What spirit are we talking about? The Holy Ghost that lives on the inside of you. Acts 1 and 8 says we shall receive power after what? The Holy Ghost has come upon you. That's the spirit of God that we're talking about. Because without the Holy Ghost, you cannot connect to God. You know him through lip service, but your carnality is still in control. When we receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost with evidence of speaking in tongues, and if you receive the Holy Ghost, you will speak in tongues even if it's that one time. Because the Bible says that's the initial sign that you have received the Holy Ghost. A amen? amen? Is everybody with me? Or I'm going to let you Y'all getting real quiet. Amen. So after we receive the Holy Ghost, that's when the giftings within us are awakened inside of you. We're born with giftings, but the Holy Ghost wakes it up. If amen. your call is to be a prophet, that's when it wakes up. If your call is to interpret dreams, that's when it wakes up. The gifts of the Spirit are for the perfecting of the saints mm -hmm. and for the work of the ministry. Mm -hmm. This is why it is so precious that we lay out before God and get to know God in an intimate way. Mm -hmm. right. Come on now. Nobody should have to tell you when to pray. That's you right. know when it's time for you to pray. You yes. know when it's time for you to fast. You know when it's time for you to spend more time with the word of God. You know when it's time for you to study a little more. It's just like working out. How many of us go to the gym? Hallelujah. You go to the gym, after a few days, you know it's time to go back. Amen. You know them abs get a little loose. So you start feeling different because you're not being disciplined, amen, amen. in the thing that you are supposed to be doing. Amen. It is the same thing with God. In order for us to hear God, in order for us to be able to rightly divide the word, we have to accept the assignment, the mandate of holiness that's on our lives. Yeah. And if you're not yeah. there, that's okay. Yeah. Strive for it. Yeah. Grow yeah. towards it. Yeah. Ask God to open up your mind and help you understand a little bit more every day till yeah. you're at yeah. that place. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Because we have a lot in, in these perilous times now. There's a lot of foolishness going on even in churches. Yes. And it's time for us to get sober-minded. Our scripture said, amen, 13 verse, sober-minded. Because there's a lot of things out there that can distract you from what you're supposed to be doing. And some of these people claim to be 
in the house of faith. Amen. 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 So we're living in a day right now where even people in the house of faith will deceive you. Sometimes they don't know themselves, and sometimes they're not disciplined enough yeah. Yeah. to learn God, yeah. to be able to pass on something of yeah. value to you. Amen. 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 Amen? This is what God Amen. is looking for in these last days. Amen. He's looking for us to receive our mandate mm -hmm. of holiness. Yeah. Yeah. If you're not about your father's business, why are you here? Right. If you're not about your, yeah, if you come to the job every day and you don't want to work, why did you show up? Amen. Why'd you get out of bed? Amen. Why'd you get washed up to come yeah. to work? Yeah. It's the same thing in the household. Yeah. Right. If you are not ready to say, for God I live and for God yeah. I die, then why yeah. are you here? Yeah. Yeah. You're just wasting your time. Yeah. You're wasting your time. Yeah. Because you're going to hell anyway. So you're wasting your time. If I'm, if I'm going to do hell, I'm not going to spend every Sunday morning in church. I'm going to be out there doing something else. But because you have a mandate on your life that draws you into Christ, you should be willing to give up everything in the world and follow after the peace of God to reconcile those lost to Christ. Amen? Amen. Amen. This is what we are supposed to do. That's what holiness is. It's deciding to be separate. It's deciding it's deciding to be peculiar. It's yeah. deciding to be special. It's deciding that even if they persecute me, I'm yeah. still going to live for Jesus. Yeah. If they put me in jail, I will preach to the inmates. Yeah. Yeah. This is what God wants you to do. But that fire on the inside ain't going to come nope. until we receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. That's the catalyst. Yeah. Because what did Jesus say? He said, I'm going to give you another comfort. Right. He said he'll abide with you forever. Amen. Amen. So as long as there's breath in your body, he'll abide with you, but yeah. we have to seek after him. Yeah. We have to ask God for it. We got to get real with this thing. Yeah. Because people are dying in the streets, and some of these kids, they don't even know nothing about Jesus. Yeah. We're living in a day where children don't know anything about Jesus. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. They have no clue. Yeah. I talked to a young man who didn't even know what Christmas was about. All right. He said, oh, I know they give presents. I said, Did you, do you know that Christmas is about the birth of Christ? And he said, no, you know, I'm 30 years old. Ain't nobody never told me Jesus. that Christmas was about Jesus. Yeah. Because in their house, they didn't grow up in church. Mm -hmm. And the mama didn't take them to church. Mm -hmm. And the grandmother wasn't in church. So they have a legacy of not learning anything about Christ. Yeah. And some of these people, the only Christ they're going to see is in you. Yeah. Amen. This is why we have to accept our mandate of holiness. Yes. Because you might, not, you yeah. might only meet them in Walmart. You right. might only meet them at the bank. Yes. So it's time for us to receive that mandate mm -hmm. of holiness. Yes. They don't do church like we used to do no, church no more. No, Everybody's don't. got a church app. Oh, Everybody right. goes, and, you know, they yeah. have this, I, I, they call it the, 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 the contemporary yeah. service and the yeah. traditional service. But if Jesus is not there, it don't matter what they call it. Amen. Amen. He's still missing heaven. Amen. 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 So we have to start to receive that mandate. Is that our responsibility as a believer? Yes, it is. Amen. Yes, it is. It is our responsibility. Yes. It is our mandate. When we see people in our community that don't know Jesus, it is your job to say something. It is your job to try to reach them. Amen. Maybe they'll listen to you, maybe they won't. But God says to tell them the message. What they do with it is on them. Yes. Amen. 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 We are the mouthpiece of Jesus in the Amen. earth. Yeah. And if you are not resonating any level of holiness, if they don't see any difference in the way you live and the way you right. talk and the way and where you go, then why would they be drawn unto you? The Bible says, in loving kindness yeah. have I drawn you. Yeah. Yeah. If they're not drawn to anything that you're doing, maybe you should check your salvation out. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. If you're living in such a way that nobody sees any All Jesus right. in your life, Amen. maybe you need to check out your salvation a little bit. Well. Amen. Amen. So Amen. we have to look at there's a mandate on our lives. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just like Jesus had a mandate. Mm -hmm. Jesus came here for one purpose, and that was to die on that cross. That's right. That's right. Now some things yeah. happened in between yeah. that he had to address. Yeah. Yeah. But his main purpose, yeah. he was born to die yeah. on the cross. Yeah. 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 We have to be just as committed yeah. in what God has called you to do. I don't know what God called you to do. I hear that the young man's going to missions. Yes. Whatever God calls him to do, he has to be faithful in it. Yes. He has to say, God, if you if I, if I die in the attempt, I was obedient to you. Yeah. 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 This is what God is looking for in these last and evil days. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We're, we're done with entertaining each other in church. Oh, yeah. 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 At least I'm done with it. Because yeah. 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 I get up and I leave. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. I, can't, I can't do that no more. Yeah. I want to be in an atmosphere where I see the gifts of God moving. Yeah. I want to be in an atmosphere where people are getting delivered. Yeah. I want to be in an atmosphere where I'm seeing people get saved. Yeah. You know, if that's not happening, yeah. I'm not staying. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Because yeah. now we are at a point where we should be so much spiritually mature. Come on. Yeah. And I'm talking to people that have been saved 20, 30 Come on. years. Come on yeah. I'm not talking about people that just got saved yesterday yeah. or last yeah. year yeah. or five years. Yeah. If you're under five years, you're still a baby. Yeah. But those of us that have been great raised up yeah. in the church and watching this foolishness go on and not saying nothing, you have a mandate yes. on your life yes. to live holy. Yes. Yes. Why? Because that holiness through the Holy Ghost draws them in. Yes. That's yes. why some people start walking up to you in the bank and telling you all of their troubles. Uh -huh. Why? Because they see the Spirit of God. Yes. Why? Because they know that there's comfort somewhere in you. Hallelujah. And I'm not talking about comfort like give them money and stuff like that. And sometimes yeah. God will lead you to do that. But most of the time when people are in trouble, they are, their soul is hurting. Yeah. And the only one that can fix it is Jesus. Yeah. The only one that can give them any hope is Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. So if you are not in the right place, you have nothing to give them. Yeah, and we have to stop let, letting the church go on and say that, well, you know, we'll just pray. No, we won't just pray. Let's see God now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's help them get delivered yeah, now. Yeah. Amen? Yeah, Amen. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, because we keep yeah. turning people away and saying, oh, we'll pray for you. Oh, we'll pray for yeah. you. You should be saved enough to be able to pray now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. You should be able to, you should, everybody in here should at least know how to lead somebody to Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You should know how to pray and sinners prayer with somebody. Yeah. Most of us, you, 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 you got to think real hard. When's the last time I helped somebody get saved? When's the last time I prayed for sinners prayer with somebody? Mm -hmm. Even if that, even, even if, and, and, and when I pray it, I pray it loud enough for everybody to hear. Amen. Because there might be somebody in our sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't let me see them, but God sees them. Yeah. Yeah. They might have bowed their head in our six. Amen. But if we keep on going on, and not being mature enough in Christ to be submitted to him. Those are the two things. I keep saying this all the time. Those of you who heard me preach and heard me say this before. Submission and obedience. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we just learn yeah. to submit yeah. and obey to yeah. God, yeah. we'll be able to impact the kingdom by bringing souls in. Amen. Amen. We have no impact. You know why the world doesn't respect us anymore? Because we're not spiritually mature anymore. Mm -hmm. We get caught up in the world. We get caught up in gossip. We get caught up in every single thing except the mandate God has given us. Amen. We let everything distract us Amen. except what God's given us. Yeah. But when it comes to praying for our people and our family and our sons and our daughters, oh, we can lay out these long prayers. Mm -hmm. But the same way you pray for your sons and daughters and husbands and wives, I you did. should have that yeah. same yeah. intensity yeah. Yeah. when you pray for the inmates. Yeah. The same intensity when you pray for the homeless. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. Jesus loved them too. Right. Amen. 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 So we can't walk in holiness without the Holy Ghost. And being holy, amen, I wrote here, holiness is a lifestyle. We know that, but holiness is a decision. Yeah. yeah. When you have yeah. reached a point in Christ, when you have decided that there is more than what I'm doing. Amen. There's more. It's more than su teaching Sunday school. It's more than going to Bible study. I'm learning so I can pour out. Yeah. And, what, and, what, and that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to apply rightly divide, rightly apply what you have on the inside to the situation. Amen? Amen. 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 Because somebody's got to stand in the gap. Yeah. They can't pray for themselves. They yeah. don't know God. But because we know God, we can stand in the gap for them. We can ask God on oh, their behalf yeah. to bless them, yeah. to open their understanding. Yeah. Luke 24 and 15. Or he opened their understanding. Yeah. Many people don't know God because they don't understand the plan of salvation. Come on now. You have, to, you have to help them understand the plan. Yeah. Just like you walk children through step by step. You hold their hand for a while, and then they get it. Yeah. It's the same thing in the world. Amen. See, I'm missions-minded, so I like to talk about how the unsaved. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're supposed to benefit the unsaved. Right. Amen. Amen. Amen? The gifts are for us to perfect each other. That's right. But outside of these outside doors of the is where the real work starts. Yeah. Amen. 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 We can't just keep praying for the same people for the same thing every time. Oh, yeah. we got to go outside the four walls and not be ashamed to declare that Jesus, amen, is Lord. So we have to develop this thirst for righteousness. Because once you do in holiness, it never runs out. Mm -hmm. 
When you have had that encounter with God, as the sister said, you will not be the same. Never. And you will want to share that experience right. with somebody else. That's right. Amen. 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 And even though everybody's not ready for it, they'll remember that was the guy that told me about mm -hmm. Jesus. Amen. Amen. They'll remember every time they see you. Because yeah. I have people see me and they say, oh yeah, she the one told me about, yeah, I'm going to keep telling you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you have to have that thirst and hunger on the inside because what, what it actually is, is God gives you a burden for souls. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you want people to be saved. You want them to be free from the bondage because you develop a compassion for people. And that's what that's what holiness does. It softens you. It makes you sensitive in the spirit when you can pick up when something's wrong with somebody. They don't always have to tell you 10 million things that's going on in their life, but the Holy Ghost on the inside yeah. will say, you know what? You need to pray for this person, yeah. or we call it an unction. You'll get an unction to pray for somebody because yeah. they're going through something. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Because you've developed a sensitivity in your spirit because you've received your mandate to separate yourself and Amen. live holy. Yes. Amen. Now, now let's break down living holy. Living holy doesn't mean stuff like preaching against Christmas trees on Christmas, that people shouldn't have Christmas trees. That is not living holy. Amen. That's not living holy. Living holy doesn't mean wearing long dresses down to the floor. That is not living holy. Amen. Holiness comes from that spirit of you to the outside of you. Yeah, Once you have the spirit of God on the inside of you, you'll know what things are appropriate and what things are not appropriate. But what happens is because man is too lazy to set themselves apart, to live holy for God, they're too lazy. They'd rather come to the pastor and let the pastor pray for everything for them. So they, they create their own holiness yeah. by saying, if you dress a certain way, you're yeah. holy. Or if you talk a certain way, you're holy. Devils know the Bible, too. Come on. Right. Come on. You got alcoholics that can quote your scripture better than anybody yeah. in here. Yeah. Does that make them holy? Yeah. No, it does not. Come on now. Holiness is something that you have found in your intimate time with God, mm -hmm. through your prayer time with God, mm -hmm. through your fasting and, and studying the word of God. Mm -hmm. And as God elevates you, you become mature in the faith. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen? Yeah. Then you will understand a different level. Then you will understand about demonology. Then yeah. you will understand. But until you get to that mature level, God's not going to reveal all of this to you. You ain't even ready to receive it. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. You're ready. Amen. And you have no desire. See, God works on our desires. You had one day you desired to be saved. Uh -huh. Amen. One day you desired it. Uh -huh. Amen. Now there were circumstances that, that brought you to that decision, but you yes. desired to be saved at one point. Yes. So if you don't desire more than what you have in Christ right now, guess what? God's going to leave you right where you're at because he's a gentleman. He's not going to force you to want more. Yes. Amen. We have to seek the more in us. Yes. Amen? Amen? As we seek God, he gives us a hunger for more. Amen. Because your curiosity grows in the word. I want to learn more about that. I need to learn more about this. Because in all of these things that we start to hunger for, God directs us to the ministry mm -hmm. he has us to be. Mm -hmm. amen. Yes. amen. 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 So the Bible tells us, amen, that the Holy Ghost keeps us in God's presence. Why? Because you can hear from God at a moment's notice. Yes. This is what you want to be able to do. Yes. And we have to be sensitive to it. Amen. Amen. If God tells you don't turn down that street in your driving, don't Amen. turn down that street. Amen. Right. Amen. And a lot of times we say, oh, something told me not to go down that block. Something told me. No, it wasn't something. It was the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. But you didn't listen. Amen. Amen. You didn't listen. Amen. You wanted to do it your own way. Because there's a shortcut down this street, and I have to go this way. I got to go three extra blocks and take another life. But you don't know what was waiting for you down there. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. See, and see, God is speaking to us all the time, but are you listening? Yes. Amen. Are you listening? There's some stuff that we have to go through for testimony's sake. Amen. There's some things you're just going to have to go through. Amen. That's Amen. why. Amen. But there's some things that if we just listen to the Spirit of God, we can avoid some shipwrecks. You, right. you don't have to have every shipwreck in your life. Right? Right. You don't have to have everyone. But if we listen to the voice of God, there's some things he will give you a detour. Amen? Amen. But again, it's a maturity level. Yes. See, when you get saved, you got to get in this thing for real. That's right. Mm -hmm. When you get in this thing for real, this is not a hard thing. Mm -hmm. For people right. who are not saved, living holy is hard. Yeah, it ain't hard. I got to give up this. I can't smoke no more. I can't drink no more. I can't be with Billy no more. I know he got a wife, but they say they're not together. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's hard because your flesh fights against the spirit That's of right. God every yeah. single day. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But if you have made up your mind, if you know that you know that you know that you know that yes. nothing is going to yes. separate you from Christ, 
living holy ain't hard. Amen. 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 When we always say it just takes a made up mind. Amen. 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 So the Holy Ghost, it helps us master our carnality. It helps us master yes. it. Yes. Yes. Why? Yes. Because we fasted. We yes. submitted. We made our flesh yes. submit to the spirit of God. Yes. How do you do that? Through fasting. Through prayer. Denying. Spending time with God. Yes. Yes. So you can master that carnality. Yes. So it don't matter how naked she is, ain't nothing going to happen. Yes. It don't matter how, how tight his pants are, yes. nothing's going to happen. Yes. Because you mastered your, car, your carnality. Yes. 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 But when you haven't beat that flesh down like you were supposed to, yes. that's why bad things are starting yes. to happen. Yes. That's why we are saying, oh, they fell. You didn't fall. You did not submit fully to Christ. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen? So sometimes we have to just look at it and say, you know what, God? Some things I'm not ready for yet. Mature me. Grow me to that place. Yes. Because Amen. our mandate Amen. is for holiness. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And remember that once we say that we're Christ Christians or we're Christ-like or we're disciples of Christ, however you want to say it, remember that when you walk out into the world and people know that you have declared that, don't think they're not looking. Amen. Amen. Don't think they're not looking. Amen. That's right. Amen. Don't think they're not looking. Amen. So the way we walk among them, we cannot destroy our testimony and bar the name of Jesus because we're not living right. Yes. Because they'll never remember your name, but they'll remember so and so said they were saved and they were doing this. That's or right. I saw them. I, saw, I heard them say that. That's mm -hmm. right. That's all they're gonna remember. They may not know your name, mm -hmm. but they'll know there was a preacher or there was a brother or there was a sister. And we don't want to defame the name of the Lord. Yes. Because yes. the Bible says we crucify Him afresh. Yes. Yes. Amen. Because yes. now we're saying that Jesus wasn't enough to deliver us. Mm -hmm. Jesus wasn't enough to set us free. But if we accept his mandate and strive for maturity in the kingdom, yes. we will be able to overcome. Yes. Amen? Amen? Amen. What else does the Holy Ghost do? The Holy Ghost not only gives us holiness, but it gives us power to rebuke Satan. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So those, those funny thoughts that we have, we can say, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke that. Yes. Yes. Right. Right. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke what you're saying to me. I rebuke what you're doing. But if you have no spiritual ma maturity, you don't know when to invoke that. Yeah. Because I hear people running around screaming the blood of Jesus, and I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> you just got to look at people sometimes. What is wrong with you? Because they have no knowledge. You have to learn the word of God. You have to have knowledge to apply the right, situ the, the, the right word to the right situation. Otherwise, you look like a lunatic. Amen. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we want to we want to we want to go, go out among people and let them know that they need to respect the name of Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. And how do they do that? Because they see us living a lifestyle that's worthy what, of that respect. Amen. Yeah. Worthy of it. It's like people should know not to play with you. They should know not to bring certain yeah, jokes your way. Right, they should right. know not to engage you in certain things or invite you to certain places. That's right. That's, right. Amen. Amen. That's why I said my family don't call me. Come on now. They don't call Come me. Come on now. Amen. When they need prayer, they call me. Okay. Uh -huh. But they know not to call me for the barbecue. Because mm -hmm. I know they're going to be drinking. Uh -huh. And they know I'm going to start preaching. Uh -huh. So if you don't want to hear me preach, guess what? It's better don't for me to stay home. Yeah. It's better for me to wait for you to call when, when, when you're in your situation, mm -hmm. and I'll pray for you. Mm -hmm. But they don't call me for that. Amen? Amen. Amen. They don't cuss around me. Because they know I'm going in. Amen. Mm -hmm. They know that. Mm -hmm. So the same thing should be in your life too. Mm -hmm. right. Amen. And if it's Amen. not there, pray for God to ask you to bring you to that place. Yes. Amen. There's no shame in that. Because we all grow at different places. That's right. I know that. And if once people have understood that you've embraced Christ, and, and as my mama used to say, I mean heaven all the way, mm -hmm. they don't bring that to me. Amen. They don't bring it to me. Because they know that once the once you have received the Holy Ghost, your giftings wake up. Yeah, you start right, to prophesy right. to people. You know their business before they tell you their business. Yeah. And when God tell you to speak to that situation, you're going to speak to it. Yeah. So they ain't going to be around you because they're a little bit scared. Because they don't want you to know what they're doing. But God said we still have to go. We still have to do it. Yes. Yes. Because it's, it's not, well, I heard somebody say, it's, it's, that's not about us. It's about the glory of God being advanced in the earth. Yes. And we know that the time we live in it is just for the little bit of time left. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 But I thank God for Jesus because Lamentations 3 and 23 says his mercy is new every morning. Amen. So even if I don't get it right, tomorrow's a new day. Amen. 
When he gives me that new morning, I open my eyes. Lord, maybe I didn't get it right, but I can get it right today. Amen. Because no one is 100% righteous. Let's Amen. visit that for a second. Because we're all in the flesh. So we're all striving towards yeah. that perfection. Yeah. The Bible says his, our righteousness is as filthy rags. We all know the scripture, right? Yeah. So we know that we're not perfect because we're in the flesh. And as long as you're in the flesh, you're always going to have something that needs perfected. Yeah. And I thank God for that. Yeah. Because each time that we have to go before God to be perfected, he makes us a little bit better. Yeah. He exposes areas where we're weak. And he strengthened us in areas where we submit to him. Yeah. So all it is is that we have to submit to the glory of God. It's not, it's not you. Um, we got to get serious about this thing. Yeah. Amen? Well, yes, God that. allows us joyful times and family and all of that good stuff and everything. But we have to have a constant burden for souls. So much so that we're willing to submit and obey God no matter what happens. Amen. Amen. And that's not always an easy thing. And sometimes it's a lonely thing. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They ain't going to call you for a certain thing. Amen. 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 They're not going to ask you to do certain things. That's right. right. Okay? So we have to remember that you have to have enough of a relationship with God that if nobody else calls you for any more parties, barbecue, family reunions, that Jesus is enough for you. Amen. You have to know that. Right. You have to know that. You got to know that. But if Jesus is not enough for you yet, keep praying. Mm -hmm. If he's not enough for you yet, Keep reading the word of God. Yeah, because right. I know the word will transform you. Yes. Yes. The yes. word will change your life. Yes. 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 But you have to be 100% sold yes. out. Yes. And yes. everybody don't get to that place at the same time. That's right. But I know that I know that I know that if we accept our mandate and walk in love. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of us think we're walking in holiness and they'll say, oh, I'm keeping it real. When you're really using that as a platform to be rude and yeah. hurt people. Come on, man. That's not being real. Yeah. That's right. Because the Bible says speak the truth in no. Okay, see, I love it when I have Bible studies here. Because, see, it makes each preaching easy. So, the Bible said we're supposed to speak the truth in love. Being harsh, being mean, exposing people's personal business, that is not God. It's not God. Amen? We are supposed to pray for people when they're weak. Amen? Pray for them. Because you don't know, you might fall in that same thing one day. You might need someone to pray you out one day. Amen. So we're supposed to speak the truth in love. And holiness, when, we, when you're walking in holiness and walking in the Holy Spirit, you will treat people with love. Yes. Because you'll learn to love them as God loves them. Yes. And that's not always easy yes. for us because we're in the flesh. Yes. But you will learn to love them like God loves them. Right. Think about all the chances you had when you messed up. Amen. Amen. Just think about it. Yeah. I challenge you. Think about the times when you messed up. Yes. Right. And how many times God forgave you? Yes, yes, yes. Okay? Think about the times when you did stuff that you think was supposed to do. Yes. The times when you should even be arrested. The times when you, 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 you should have been beat up for it. Amen. And think about all those times when God has delivered you. Amen. Even when you was out there in the world. There were certain things you got into that God still delivered you, even in being unsaved, because somebody's prayers followed you. That's what holiness means, is that I may not be able to impact that person's life today, but I can ask God, what does it say? One plant, one water, and who gives the increase? God. So in that season when God is giving that increase, all of those prayers that were prayed is going to about to be answered. But if we're not in a holy place, if we're not walking in holiness, we can't risk get through to heaven. Yes. I don't want no prayers that bounce off the ceiling. I want prayers that when I pray, God hears me. Yeah. That's the kind of prayer I want. I want a lifestyle that when I ask God to do something, he did it because I asked him because he loves me and because I'm submitted to him. Yes. And it is possible to reach that. It's possible to attain it. Yes, it is. It is possible. Amen. But we have to seek after it. Amen. We have to hunger after it. Hallelujah. We have to put aside all the things that we want to do and say, God, your agenda is not my agenda. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes, God. It's a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. yeah. The same way he sacrificed on the cross for our sins, we sacrifice. Because yeah. our lives are not our own anyway. Yeah. And what does the Bible say? We were bought with a price. price. Amen. His blood was a price. Yes, it was. Amen. So if you really want to walk this thing out, remember that you've been bought with a price. You're not your own. That's right. You can't tell God how it's supposed to go. Because guess what? He don't have to check with you. That's right. Hate to give somebody a newsflash, but God don't have to check with you when he get ready to tell you to do something. That's right. He doesn't. Amen. Amen. So these people that keep saying, well, I'm going to do it, but, you know, 
God understands. No, God does not understand. You're the one that God understands. Amen. You have to submit and obey. Hallelujah. God doesn't give us.